you ever use SQL data databases, for sure you encounter integer overflow error. That error is because when you declare your table, you have declared data type. And usually most people don't want to reserve space for the biggest data type because it's inefficient. And you declare type, which in future can be too small because you forecast the usage of your table and maybe that forecast is wrong. So for example, you declare tiny int, which is just one byte and has a maximum 127 integer value. And you want to enter to that column bigger number because for example, now you have more customers. And if the value is bigger than maximum allowed value of that data type, you get integer overflow error and your application just crash and no longer working. And that overflow error is most common for integer types, but it's also for decimals. It can be for date, which, which can evolve to timestamp. And also it can be for varchar, for example, or for char because you declare maximum value of the string. Now Databricks found a solution for that, which is type widening. It works now for integer, decimals and date. It, it's not working yet for varchar, but let's take a look how you can utilize that solution. So you will not get integer overflow error and your schema will evaluate when needed. First, we create a table with really small data type. It's byte. So maximum integer as in our previous example, 127. Running the scribe comment, we can see that data type is tiny int. And now let's try to insert to that table big number. In that case, it's 100,000. So we insert that number and we got this error integer overflow because the number is too big. And to solve that issue, uh, Databricks and Delta introduced new property which enable type widening. So we will enable that property. And once that property is enabled, you can manually uh, change data type of your column. But that way it was also possible in uh, traditional SQL. What we will do, we will enable after adding that comment, we will enable auto merge and we will test how automatic type widening is behaving. So our data is still tiny int, and now we are again trying to insert 100,000. So we are inside inserting that big number and we can see that there is no error this time. There is no integer overflow error. And now when we describe the table, we can check in schema that the data type was automatically changed to int integer. And let's try to insert even bigger number. So we insert something like 100 million or 1 billion. And now we can descri describe that table and we can see that schema was automatically adjusted to big int. Thanks to type widening, uh, we can see that our uh, data was automatically adjusted, our data type. And what is interesting in that solution is that data is not overwritten in parquets. So old parquets uh, in Delta, inside Delta, stay, for example, a tiny int format and only the new data uh, data added is is using more bigger memory allocation to handle bigger uh, bigger values uh, thanks to that solution you can always be sure that your code will not crash so i think it's the best practice to include uh, that type widening and be sure that you will not encounter errors which will crash your entire uh, data engineering application. Uh, if you are interested in more content like this, uh, 
I welcome you to visit Databricks TV where you can find more videos, technical videos like that one. You can find interviews or you can find uh, information about pra best practices in data engineering. I'm including link in the description below. Also, I'm including link to the notebook, which was used in that video. Please also remember that this is a new functionality. So it was added recently to Databricks runtime uh, 15.2. Soon it will be available in SQL Warehouse and Serverless Compute. Thank you for watching and I hope you to see you in the next video.